welcome to the induction ceremony for Baylor University into Alpha Lambda Delta National Honor Society. Uh, my name is Eileen Merberg and I am the executive director of Alpha Lambda Delta. Uh, we are headquartered in the Western New York, Rochester, New York region where I am right now. Uh, and I am going to just get us started and then turn it over to Baylor. Uh, to facilitate the rest of the ceremony. Just to give you an idea of what you can expect, uh, our ceremonies typically last about a half an hour, um, 30, 35 minutes or so. Uh, I will, like I said, turn it over to um, the officers and the Baylor advisor to help facilitate. Um, we have a process where we'll induct all the new members, and there are many of you, and we're very excited about that. Uh, we'll see a fairly brief video from our National Council welcoming all new students into the organization. I'm going to spend just a minute talking about the benefits at the national level, uh, and then the chapter officers will talk about all that they do at the Baylor campus uh, to engage you and uh, support student success. Hi, I'm Deborah Manzanares. I'm the faculty advisor at Baylor University, and I've been the faculty advisor for 15 years now. And I'm delighted to be here with you this evening. Alpha Lambda Delta is a national society which honors high academic achievement in the first year of college. The purpose of the organization is to encourage superior academic achievement among students in their first year in institutions of higher education, to promote intelligent living and a continued high standard of learning, ALD assists students in recognizing and developing meaningful goals for their roles in society. Alpha Lambda Delta was founded as an honor society in 1924 at the University of Illinois by the Dean of Women, Mariah Leonard. It soon became a national organization as chapters were established at Purdue University in 1926 and at DuPont University in 1924. Growth of the society has continued with almost 400 chapters recognized. These candidates who are now presented for induction have attained the high standard required by Alpha Lambda Delta and are worthy to be recognized by both Baylor University and ALD for their notable achievement and scholarship. We are here to inform the new inductees concerning our organization and to ask them to take the pledge to make the best possible use of your education. The initials of our name stand for the Greek words, Aleloi Lampadia Diadososin, which stands for the motto, we shall pass our torches on one to another. The insignia of Alpha Lambda Delta represents a lighted candle. The golden base of the candle signifies honesty and integrity, which are the foundation on which we build. The shaft of our candle signifies strength and courage. The light of our candle signifies truth and wisdom, which can dispel ignorance and superstition and give us the insight to live well in our time. The red represents the burning of knowledge. The white represents the search for truth. The gold represents the strong base of honor. These are three colors symbolize the standards held by members of Alpha Lambda Delta. Your education is the means by which you learn to recognize the wonders of science, to appreciate the beauty of great literature and art, to use well your own language, to learn the lessons of past history, to speak and read the languages of others, to study the social and political forces of our world, and to discuss the thought and the philosophy of other ages. Through these means, you can evaluate the forces and standards of your generation and learn to live significantly. We now wish to induct individually the students who have earned the privilege of becoming members of the Baylor University chapter of Alpha Lambda Delta. We'll start with all reciting the pledge. We ask that you keep your mics off that wherever you are, repeat after me. I accept membership into National Alpha Lambda Delta, understanding that in doing so, I assume the responsibility of continuing to maintain its standards of service, of diligence, and of integrity. I pledge to promote high scholarship and to use my education for the benefit of my community, my nation, and the world in which we live. We are now going to share all the names of all new inductees into the Baylor University chapter of Alpha Lambda Delta. And what we are going to ask is that you type in the uh, chat box, I accept. Anything more you wanted to say about that, Cameron? Yeah, that would be great. Congratulations, guys.
Wow, we <laughs> that was great. Congratulations, you have now recorded your induction into Alpha Lambda Delta on Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. Congratulations. May you find in the years ahead the rewards of the educated person, imagination, adventure, humor, compassion, and understanding. May you have acceptance in your dealings with all persons, generosity in giving to those in need, and insight into the feelings of others. In relating your education to the world in which you live, you can make a meaningful contribution to society. Congratulations to everyone. Congratulations, new members of Alpha Lambda Delta. Welcome to our organization and congratulations on your hard work this past semester. It's truly paid off. Congratulations on your induction into Alpha Lambda Delta. Hello and congratulations on your academic achievement. May today be the beginning of your journey with Alpha Lambda Delta. We are here today, first and foremost, to celebrate your accomplishments, what you have been able to do as individuals. So I'd like to speak to a couple of you in the room. Uh, typically, in my induction ceremonies uh, here at Western, uh, students typically fall in two buckets. I don't want to generalize or overgeneralize, but allow me to speak to at least two audiences, and some of you may fall out inside the margins here. First. A lot of you graduated with graduate high school with all the expectations in the world that you are going to do tremendously well in college. And that's outstanding. Hope you feel validated. You should. All the accomplishments, all the hard work you did in high school, all of that led and prepared you for college success. And today you're here because you've earned that. I'd also like to talk to the students who may have been a little bit more like me, who college sounded great coming out of high school, but I doubted myself. I doubted my ability. Uh, I wasn't sure if I could uh, stand alongside other college students and, and, and earn the same grades as them. And overall, just scared of failure. Let's be a little bit honest. But guess what? You're in here with all the other folks that have those high expectations for themselves. And nobody's experience is better or worse than the others, but I hope you take a moment to appreciate that. You are exactly where you belong. You're in the room. You made it. You're here for a reason. Induction into ALD is a noteworthy accomplishment. Not only have you earned membership in this preeminent honor society, but you did it during what is arguably the hardest year of college, the first. I work with hundreds of first year students every year. I impress upon each of them the importance of community, finding purpose. I explain the value of mentors, professional development, and service to their local communities. Your home chapter will provide you with all of these things and more. I have little doubt that membership in AOD will be the first of many accomplishments and accolades earned on your path to graduation. Get involved with your chapter. Explore the leadership opportunities offered. Also take some time to explore the variety of resources on the Alpha Lambda Delta website. Seek out opportunities that will allow you to build on your skills and ones that will allow you to give back to the community. Take full advantage of your membership in this National Academic Honor Society. Congratulations on your achievement. You have joined an amazing honor society and kudos to you for all that you've accomplished so far in your college career. Alpha Lambda Delta, or we like to call it ALD, is filled with some amazing opportunities just for you. So make sure to get involved. I hope you take the time to learn about what the national organization and more importantly, what your chapter has to offer. Participate, connect with others from different disciplines that share a common level of intellectual curiosity. Engage, participate in a service project, whether it be assisting others in their first year transition or a community campus service project, give back. Lead, get involved with your chapter by sharing your ideas, your talents, and your skills. Inspire, consider taking on a chapter leadership role. Participate in ALD webinars and develop those leadership skills that will serve you well beyond graduation in your personal and professional life. You have a fire inside you, and now is the time to shine. Congratulations and welcome to Alpha Lambda Delta. Congratulations, welcome to the Alpha Lambda Delta family. Welcome to our organization, and again, congratulations.
I'm going to just take another few minutes to talk about, as I mentioned, the benefits, and then I'm going to turn it over to your local chapter and your chapter advisors uh, who are doing a great job. So first, there's just so much information on our website, so I'm only going to highlight a few things, but just know that our website is nationalald.org. So we're pretty much National ALD for our social media and our website. Uh, so that's where you'd start, and I hope you take a chance, take some time, uh, and get a chance to explore around. So the first thing I wanna mention is our scholarship program. Uh, we offer a number of scholarships, three of them, two of them for undergraduates uh, that you would apply for um, for next year, uh, the TRO. Uh, Stemler, you can apply anytime it's for study abroad. There's not a lot of international travel right now, but hopefully that will resume. And then graduate fellowships are open to you and available to you to apply at any time in your life. You are a lifetime membership of Alpha Lambda Delta, and you can apply for a scholarship in 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years. Uh, you can uh, apply for a graduate fellowship for graduate school. The other thing I like to point out on this page is our link to some external scholarships. Uh, in addition to Alpha Lambda Delta, there are tons of other scholarships across the U.S. and probably available at Baylor as well. Um, so check that out. They're always looking for high achieving students. So check out the resources in our uh, external scholarships link. The next thing I want to highlight is our perks program. This is These are all member benefits that come with your membership. There's no extra fees or costs for anything. Uh, and so ALD Perks is our discount program. It's an app you could download on your phone. You could also use a desktop. And it's about 300,000 different uh, discounts and perks, um, pizza and restaurants and oil changes and all sorts of things. You do need to opt into it. It's not automatic because uh, not everyone wants it. So you do need to register and sign up for it. And then you'll get more information about that. Uh, that's called, called ALD Perks. The other thing that you do need to opt into is our new leadership certificate program. Uh, and this is uh, a, a series of courses, mini courses, sort of like workshops, all online. Uh, there are 12 topics to choose from to help you develop your leadership skills. And if you complete 10 out of the 12, you will be issued a um, national certificate uh, making you ALD LEAD certified. Uh, each of them has a guest speaker, and these are the topics. Uh, this is not where you'd actually take the classes. This is just showing you what the um, different courses are. And uh, you do need to sign up for the program right there. The next thing is our Career Conversations program. And this was a series of live uh, interviews that we held with successful Alpha Lambda Delta alumni that were successful in their field based on their major. And so if any of these are of interest to you, if you have this major or are interested in maybe uh, considering one of these majors and you wanna hear from an Alpha Lambda Delta member about how they went from first year to career, uh, then check these out. These are all the recordings, the live conversations have concluded for the academic year. Um, pointing out one of them is by Charlie Manzanares, who's Deb Manzanares' son. Uh, and we do offer career tips every Tuesday in our social media. Next thing is our partnerships. This is another sort of perk, uh, some discount kind of thing too, but more educational based. So uh, we call them our educational partners. Just check these out. There are some automatic scholarships you can get for internships um, in Washington, D.C. or internationally. Scholars is a nice program that matches you. You create a profile and it matches you with jobs and internships. Magoosh is a test prep discount offer. So check out our partners. Those are all benefits, again, exclusive to ALD. The second to last thing I'm mentioning is our store. So if you're excited about wearing uh, hoodies and sweatshirts with ALD branded on them, uh, certainly, Honor Cords is a popular item for when you do graduate from Baylor. Uh, so check out our store at, at uh, shopald.org. And the last thing is um, we'd love a follow on our social media. I am just going to highlight uh, <clears throat> uh, Instagram in particular because we did just post this post uh, yesterday uh, talking about the record-breaking numbers from Baylor University. So uh, follow us and uh, give a like to that post. And then uh, pretty soon, um, in a few minutes maybe, is going to be a post welcoming all of the new inductees uh, from uh, Baylor and other uh, chapters that we installed to our inducted, uh, students that we inducted tonight, sorry. Okay. 
Uh, and I think that is it. So I am going to stop sharing and I'm going to turn it over to the students. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is introduce the Baylor Alpha Lambda Delta officers for the 2020-2021 school year. To begin our chapter advisor. DM, are you there? Where'd you go? Hi, I'm Deborah Manzanares, and I'm the faculty advisor for Alpha Lambda Delta, and I have been for 15 years. I'm also on the National Council. I'm vice president for finance and long range planning. Hi, my name is Cameron Gugettis. I am president of Alpha Lambda Delta. I am double majoring in accounting and management information systems, and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Hi, I'm Shannon Sapansky. I'm serving as vice president and I'm an MIS major from Waco, Texas. Hello, my name is Michaela Branch. I am one of the secretaries. Um, my major is communication sciences and disorders and I'm from Pearland, Texas. Emma unfortunately couldn't be here today. She is one of the three secretaries and I'm the last of the three secretaries. I'm Aaron. Um, I'm an electrical engineering major and I'm from Amarillo, Texas. Hi y'all, I'm Tori Brodish. I am your social, one of your social service chairs. I am from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and my major is business fellows on the pre-med track. Hi y'all, I'm Madison Etzel. I am another social service chair and roommates with Tori Brodish. Um, I'm from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I'm also a business fellow, double majoring with biology. Hi, I'm Shay Straw. I'm also a social service chair. My major is speech pathology, and I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. And unfortunately, Savannah could not be here tonight, so I'm going to introduce her. Savannah is our academic chair. She's a science research fellow, and she's from Shelton, Washington. Hi, I'm Kylie Walker. I'm one of the social media chairs, and I'm a health sciences pre-physical therapy major, and I am from Greenville, South Carolina. Hi, I'm Lydia Samuel. I'm your other social media chair. I am a nursing major, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Hi, my name is Ford Koppel. I'm the historian. I'm a double history and international studies major, and I'm from Freeport, Louisiana. So we are going to be doing an Instagram giveaway right now. As you can see, our Instagram is just going to be Baylor underscore ALD. And I posted something right at seven. And all you have to do is go and follow us and like the post. And you're going to have a chance at winning one of three ALD face masks. So we're going to choose three winners within the span of this Zoom. And we're going to announce at the end who was chosen. So right now, we'll give you guys 30 seconds to like a minute to go and find our Instagram and like the post if you're interested. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much, Lydia. Again, it's Baylor underscore ALT. Please go follow and like that for a chance to win. So now let's talk a little bit more about what Baylor's chapter of Alpha Lambda, Alpha Lambda Delta does. Also, please note that some of the pictures we're going to be showing is pre-COVID. Um, of course, we follow all of Baylor and the CDC's guidelines. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna show you some of our service events from the past few years. We typically do at least one profit share per semester and the proceeds go to various charities across the country and the profit share from these pictures is USWIRL. Um, the next few sh slides show our profit share from Mod Pizza, which was our most recent one that happened this semester. 
and ALD partners with Steppin' Out, and this is a student-led day of community service dedicated to helping the Waco community in various projects from cleanup to renovation, and last year we helped set up and run Dogtoberfest, an event that benefited the Animal Birth Control Clinic in Waco. And in the past, we've also helped an elderly member of the community with lawn maintenance and various home improvement projects, as you can see in this slide in the next. And then another popular event is the Cameron Park cleanup. And we get together as a group and go and beautify the park one Saturday each semester. And it's a great way to give back to the community. All right, guys, so some other events that we've had to get more creative with this semester because of COVID um, is doing some Valentine's Day cards. So we'll do things like this where we write cards to members of the Arbor House Assisted Living and Alzheimer's um, Certified Memory Care. We also delivered these cards to the facility and we had a great response. Um, some other things that we did also were make Easter baskets. Um, this was actually pretty recent. So this involved making these Easter baskets for children currently under the care of the Waco Family Abuse Center. This event was so much fun and the baskets turned out amazing. And as you can see in the next slide, they're really cute and really fun. Hi y'all. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the social events that we've conducted throughout the years. Um, Pre-COVID, our roller skating events were always a member favorite. Also, we've loved to have um, movie or friends watching nights on campus. So unfortunately, our academic chair, Savannah, could not be here tonight, but I'm gonna show y'all some of our academic events, which were our study nights and some academic speakers. Um, we loved having themed study nights. We always had a lot of snacks. Around Halloween, we would have candy. Um, on Thanksgiving, we would have a bunch of pies. And around Christmas, we would have hot chocolate and cookies. Um, members always had a great time and said they got a lot done. It was a very productive time for everyone. Um, so we hope you enjoyed taking a glimpse into some of our events, and this is a more extensive list of our events that we just weren't able to get pictures from. Each month, we have a general meeting to discuss our upcoming events, so you get a schedule of what's going on and all that. And some of the, our other events are, include virtual movie nights that we hosted on Netflix Party. We held an epilepsy training and certification course, um, career fair prep seminar, a virtual resume workshop, virtual game nights, we've had food pantry drives, um, we had a pumpkin painting event, bowling, and so much more. Great, thank you. Since we looked at the past of what we've done, we also look to the future. Um, in the fall, we are going to continue to be as safe as possible because member safety is a priority for us. So we will continue having virtual events, but for events that are not virtual, we will enforce social distancing and wearing face masks. All right, so now that we've talked about that, let's talk about what you're going to do in the future. The very first thing that you can do as a new member of Baylor's Alpha Lambda Delta chapter is submit an officer application. You will receive an application via email tomorrow or maybe later tonight. All of these applications are going to be due Sunday, April 11th at 11.59 p.m. You're going to send that completed application to me directly at Cameron underscore yes one at Baylor.edu. After you send me your application, you, um, I'm going to schedule with you just a very short 15 minute interview, either Wednesday, April 14th from 3 to 6 p.m. or Friday, April 16th from 3 to 5 p.m. If you're unavailable during those times, please still apply. We will work with you to schedule an interview at a different time. The following positions are available for the 2021-2022 school year. These include secretary and historian positions. Michaela, one of our current secretaries, and Ford, our current historian, are now going to give a brief description of their responsibilities so you can see if this is a good role for you. Hello, everyone. Congratulations. Um, I am one of, currently one of the three secretaries. My main responsibilities include sending an email every Sunday with upcoming events and other important announcements, frequently checking and responding to emails sent to the BaylorALD at gmail.com email account, and keeping member attendance at events. This is a great position 
for someone who is organized and detail oriented. Hi guys, I'm the current historian. Um, my main responsibilities include working with the social media chairs to use photos and videos for social media, writing an essay over an activity that we've done for the Flame magazine, and compiling images and videos into a scrapbook for submission to National ALD at the end of the year. This is going to be a great position for someone who's a strong, strong writer and is pretty creative. So after you submit your officer application, um, we also have your certificate, pen, and t-shirt, which was included in your membership dues that you've already paid. We're going to have a pickup for that on Saturday, April 24th from 1 to 4 p.m. in Draper 147. Um, so all those are included in your dues. However, graduation cords will also be available for pickup at that time. Those will be $5 and you can pay cash or check only. So again, that'll be Saturday, April 24th from 1 to 4 p.m. in Draper 147. However, if you can't make that, that is perfectly okay. You will have plenty of opportunities to do so in the fall. We're just running right up at the end of the semester, so this will be the only one for this semester. Also very important, on May 5th, 2021, so right at the end of the semester, you're going to receive an email from Connect. This will allow you to join our email roster so you get Baylor-specific emails about our events. Please accept that as soon as possible. Once you do that, you are good for the semester. You can just expect an email from us the very first week of the fall semester. We will give you a semester calendar of events and tell you what you need to do from there. Lydia, will you take away for the Instagram giveaway? I sure will. Well, thank you guys so much for being so active already. Um, our Instagram giveaway winners were already messaged, but it's Trinity Lewis, Janae, and Abby Sitton. So congratulations to you guys, and please continue following our Instagram in the future because we post on our story and on our feed just updates about meetings and events and things like that. But thank you guys so much. Great. Thank you, Lydia, and congratulations to our winners. Also, we host giveaways all the time throughout the semester, so be on the lookout for this. All right, thank you everyone for attending our virtual induction ceremony. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email us at baylorald at gmail.com. Thank you for coming.